Thank you for joining us on our 13th annual Crawfish Bowl and fundraiser. I'm your host, Steve Moses, along with my wife, Susie. What started out as a get together for crawfish here at the house, and while Susie was out of town, turned into a fundraiser the following year. Hey, Suze, thanks for putting an end to a simple party, but making it into something really special. To all of you joining us today, we really appreciate your friendship and your company, but just as important, your contribution to this great cause. St. Mary Letitia, or in English, St. Mary of Joy, just outside Masaka, Africa. Every penny you donate goes straight to use by the school Every dollar you contribute is worth five to six times more in Masaka, Africa. We are all witnessing the second year of the horrific war in Ukraine. But at least today you are here and you are making a difference and putting a bright spot in another part of the world. None of this could have happened without the dedication and support of my brother-in-law, Bob Gibb. Many years ago, Bob met a priest named Father Athanasius who was studying at the University of Dallas in part to learn English. From their friendship, Bob learned about the needs of the Catholic Diocese of Masaka, Africa, and began investing in a school for secondary education of underprivileged children. Bob will take you through a more detailed update of the school and the progress that's been made. But first, let's listen to the Bishop of Masaka, Sarius Jumba, on the other side of our world. Bishop Severus Jumba, the ordinary of Masaka Diocese. I bring you greetings of joy of the resurrection and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear partners in development in the U.S., led by our beloved brother Robert Gibb and family, we thank you for journeying with us in this road to development, in particular of quality education in a Catholic environment. Quality education for all, but in an environment that is typically Catholic, which means we admit all children of the various faiths in our school of St. Mary Leticia at Degea in Rengo district in the Catholic Diocese of Masaka in Uganda. We thank you for the initial support that saw us putting in place the infrastructure which enabled us to open this school, St. Mary Leticia, two years now. The school is growing in the enrollment of students, kids in the American language. We have now over 300 boys and girls very happy to be in a reasonably well-built school. St. Mary Leticia falls in the category of the high schools founded by the Catholic Church, but it has relied entirely on the efforts of Mr. Robert Gibb and family members and the, the other partners, friends of his, he has mobilized to help us 
to build it. And uh, I'm very delighted to see that it's growing every other day. We have a woman director, here we call him a teacher, who is very active together with the team of staff members, teaching and non-teaching. And uh, now we are also working on the community around to see that they also put in the little bit they can, given I didn't say much about the uh, income levels of our people, 70% of the people here depend on subsistence agriculture. That is, they grow crops or food for the table. Very few, a small percentage, about 15%, manage to get an extra uh, food supply for, for sale. So we, we, we are a basically a subsistence community and uh, this is no different with the communities around St. Mary Leticia High School. They are uh, poor, unfortunately, materially, but we want them to be encouraged to do a little more, to do what they can so that they support the children at school. We are very grateful for the partners in the US who have helped, uh, helped us with the number of the kids here with sponsorship of school fees. But we are in entirely most grateful to you for the infrastructure input you are doing for us. Currently, the very challenging one as far as infrastructure is concerned is the boys' dormitory. I pray to your usual generosity that you continue to assist us financially so that we may realize this infrastructure need of a boys' dormitory. God bless you, a Merry Easter, and a fruitful Easter season. Accept 
push yourself very hard so that the best in you can come out. We continue to pray for us too, that God may continue to bless it with many more students, students who are ready to search for wisdom, but wisdom based on God is true wisdom. Students who are ready to challenge the contemporary false philosophies that make them themselves their bodies. Students who have the courage to rise above those false philosophies and follow the word of God. And have the courage to walk that dangerous path, the path of the cross, the cross that read glorification. The Lord be with you. We pray for our benefactors, especially those that are going to gather in this month of April, and the Lord may continue bless them. Bless their sacrifice for us too, and that whatever they give, the Lord may bless them. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our students in this school, that they may continue to walk this path of self-discovery, governing their life according to the word of God, growing and increasing not only in the faith of this, not only in the knowledge of this word, but more so in the faith of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for our leaders in the school, the head ministers, teachers, and all those who serve this school, that they may continue to. I bring you greetings from St. Mary Tisha High School, the Gear. I thank God for life and providence. I take the opportunity to thank God for the beautiful school and the beautiful people around us, both young and old. I take the opportunity still to wholeheartedly thank all those who have worked tirelessly to give us this wonderful school. We thank you so much. I pray that the good Lord rewards you abundantly. In a special way, I thank Reverend Father Athanasius Kasekende for the wonderful dream. I thank him for having such a beautiful dream of helping the children of the area in education. We thank all our sponsors for the help extended to us. Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for doing all that it takes to give us this call. We have had a good beginning and so far we have a total number of 337 students in the school. We have 225 boarders and 112 desk students. Senior one has um, a total number of 167 students, 74 boys and 93 girls. Senior two has a total number of 109, 56 boys and 53 girls. Senior three has got 61 students, 26 boys in 35 girls. Thank you very much. The examples of handcrafts made in our country or in East Africa. Yes, here. Yeah. Max. Necklaces. Yes. Pardon. Baskets. Baskets. Yes, Aaron. 
Brass shoes, leather, hats, scarves, paper bags, paper bags, <laughs> sweaters, <laughs> belts. Thank you very much. You have seen that they are a lot, they are infinity because of our talents in East Africa. Now, the materials used to make these handcrafts. Yes, dear. Say so. It's used to make ropes. Yes. Vision. Beads. Used to make bangles. What What else do they use to make like bangles apart from threads? Uh, uh, another example of honey. Yes. Second example. Nylon. Nylon is used to make what? Rocks, thank you. And uh, our head girl, pardon, palm leaves is used to make mats. Mats, yes. Threads, threads, used for making sweaters. Sweaters like this one you are wearing. Ah, uh, yes. Banana five bands. Balls are uh, what else? Rocks, yes, Linda. <coughs> Hats. Hats used to make from papyrus prints. Uh huh. And palm leaves. My name is Katerina Henry. My school is St. Mary Tisha High School, Degea. It is located along Masakamba Highway in Rango District. This, the school is a Catholic founded school. Uh, my school is capable of promoting students' morality knowledge and faith as it is stipulated in the motto. The school is having teachers who can impart knowledge so that the students can excel academically. The school is very spacious, it has a conducive environment, the school has very skillful administrators who know what they do. The school in addition also provides necessities like like healthy, the school is capable of preparing meals that keep the students rejuvenated. The school is also having very good buildings and well-developed classrooms that give a student a conducive environment so that he or she can excel academically.